Yes, Summer, come in and you watch this. You remember, you look for yourself. What happens if you talk smart to Deandra, okay? I haven't played my favorite and most chaotic Sims 4 family in over a year. A year! That's insane. That's insane. Because if you're an OG follower of my content, you know exactly which family I'm talking about and how much I praise them and hype them up and how much I just love them and how much they mean to me. And it's kind of sad that I've been putting them off to the side like this, but um, I have not played the DeVos family in over a year. And today... I'm gonna go back into that save file and I think I'm gonna play with them a little bit and I'm gonna have you guys come with me, which I've never done before. So this is kind of like DeVos series let's play, kind of, a little bit. The DeVos family is one of my first Sims 4 families that I ever created back in 2022. It stars my matriarch and my favorite Sim of all time, Deandra DeVos. Her fiance, not husband, I don't know why Monroe still hasn't wifed her yet, but her fiance, Monroe DeVos. There are five kids, Regina, Naomi, Odessa, Summer and Kai DeVos and Naomi's son, Deandra and Monroe's grandson, Isaac. She got knocked up as a teenager. If you know, you know. Anyways, I stopped playing them about two years ago regularly because I was busy focusing on making a machinima series for them. And I ended up not doing that series anymore because I hate making machinima and it took way too long and was just way too time consuming. Then I started my legacy with Alexis Ketter. Then I started my not to bury with Gwyneth Westwood. And I've just been having fun with them, but I miss them and I know some of you guys miss them. So let's just go see how they're doing and play with them for a little while. So I'm here in my Chaos and Sue save file. It is my OG old, old, old save file. And right here in Brindleton Bay is the DeVos family. And as you can see, I haven't updated them either since March of last year. That's what the 323 stands for, March of last year. So I don't know what is gonna be going on, but I'm excited to find out. And the thing about this family is that when I say chaos, I meant chaos. So Deandra is a serial killer. Monroe's a serial killer. Their kids are fucking crazy too. The most out of pocket shit. <laughs> Everything I posted that was out of pocket before the legacy and the not so berry most likely came from this family. And I, I, I just, I think I wanna do some of that. I wanna channel old Solita Sims, two years ago Solita Sims and just wreak havoc on everybody and everything in the save file and this is the ideal family for that we're here deandra and monroe are outside <laughs> in the rain oh my god i remember these outfits these were the outfits i put on for them for my model simpson promo video that is the last time i've been in the save file Holy shit. No way. Okay. 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 Great. Um, yeah, Deandra and Monroe are here. All the kids are here. They're all late for school. Apparently no one's going to school. What is up with y'all? Why aren't y'all keeping track of the kids? I swear I can't, they can't do anything. They can't do anything. Here is Naomi. She's also standing outside. Regina and Summer are outside as well. Looks like they're about to go off to school. Odessa is watching TV and she looks so pretty. And then we have Kai and Isaac listening to music in the family gym. And I have a teleporter in here, all right? Might as well teleport Dee and Monroe because I don't know why they're outside to begin with. Oh, Dee, my girl, my precious sweet girl. I've missed you so so much and the we used to do together. <laughs> the absolute tyranny we had on this save file. Even tyranny against my sim self apparently because they have a negative relationship. What's up with that? She thinks I'm attractive though. Wait. Wait a minute. She thinks I'm attractive? D. D. Are we gonna do something about that? Like, are we gonna do something about that? I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be like the first time you cheated on Monroe before. So, speaking of which, I know that we left off with Deandra and Monroe in a very odd spot in the Machinima series when I canceled it. Let's just pretend it didn't exist or everything that happened is resolved. And yeah, they're still together. He took her back, her his, his cheating ass fiance, because that is his high school sweetheart. He loves her. They've committed too many felonies together to be apart from each other at this point. Ride or die, baby, ride or die. And all these kids they share, the kids that also aren't each other's kids, Odessa isn't Monroe's, and Naomi isn't Deandra's, and Summer isn't Deandra's either. It's a mess. It's a mess. If you want the full explanation, go click the video above, because I am not. I can't go over this right now. This family is a mess. Okay. All right. Let's see what everybody's doing. Y'all really need to go to school. I, they've been teenagers forever. I know this is kind of... Hello? Odessa got money from song royalties. 
and to promote a book. I forget, she's a celebrity, that's right. Odessa over here is a singer, and right now it looks like she's doing a little brand deal. But she is in fact a singer. She's trying to become a very famous singer. I forgot what her fame level is. She is a global superstar already. You're not even a young adult and you're a global superstar, girl. Good luck to you with that because your family has quite the reputation for every single crime they've ever committed. Oh, like up here, psycho, <laughs> psycho killer. We got the evil trait. We've got the mistress of disguise. New Crest Thugs leader and of course, wealthy. Look at that bank account, honey. Look at that bank account. 7.5 million in the bank. And I didn't even cheat that. That is from all of Deandra's um, drug dealings because she is in fact a drug dealer, a very prominent, well-known drug dealer. We'll definitely go to her headquarters later and meet up with everybody there and see how business is going, get our money, get our coins. Why are you on the treadmill? You know, y'all need to go to school. What are y'all doing? Okay, get the fuck out and go to school. Need video games, lack of video games. You're just like me, Summer. And what are these two gonna do? Deandra is going to pay her bills of only $268 or $286, that's not bad. And Monroe is, no, you can't both pay the bills. Ah, uh, yes, I remember why I rarely play in the save file anymore because it lags. I just had to restart my game because Oh, it's it's doing it again. Like, what the hell is going on here? Okay, I'm sure it'll ease up in a few minutes. This is Lillian Vaughn. She is walking away from me. Okay, this is Lillian Vaughn. This is Deandra's best friend and also her right-hand woman. She handles all the operations going on down here and Deandra will regularly go to her for information about other gangs or how business is doing, but she doesn't do really like any of the real dirty work like distributing. Um, That's her other workers who we're gonna, we're gonna call them over to see how they've been doing, how business is doing. Girl, this house house is a mess. This house is a mess. I know damn well. <laughs> I did not leave the house like this. We're going to ask her about the corners we control because it's been a minute since she's updated on that. But look at this. Shit. Look at this madness. There is a drink. There is a whiskey between your shoes, girl. Smite. <laughs> Rappers everywhere and random clay. It would not be the Sims unless there was random bits of clay everywhere. But let's have D say hi to her right hand woman. Yes, yes. Pretend to hug, even though you guys have done a lot more. For those of you who haven't watched the series, I don't know that much about the DeVos family. Yeah, Lillian over here was another one of Deandra's uh, prospects. So they're very familiar with each other and not just in the business perspective. We currently control all of the local street corners plus 10 out of 10 rival corners. Do you see this? Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I should have known this was going to happen. I can't trust you or you. Okay, anyways, like I said before, Deandra runs around here, baby. She runs okay? There is no if ands. She runs okay? So she runs every corner. And now, since I have that information, I think what I'm going to do is call over her associate. So I forget who's in her gang. We have Elsa Felix. Who the heck is that? It's not Elsa Bjergsen. I promise you, this is a completely different... Elsa. Her name is Elsa Felix. She's a part of it. Is Bella in it? No, Bella isn't in it, but her daughter, what's her daughter's name? Her, well, Cassandra is a part of it as well. And obviously they have a really bad relationship. They are enemies. Then we have Nevea Estelano, who is a sim I created a very, 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 very long time ago. Then we also have Summer Holiday, who's also in the gang. I know worst sim for this i'm gonna invite let's invite summer first it's gonna be a little bit hard because we have to convince her to come over and she might not want to either way i'll just teleport her i don't give a fuck. there's no choices here summer holiday will be right over okay gang Ooh, get cut from this week get extra cash from the corner so let's get our cut from this week first look at that stupid ass walk style she has what's our cut holy <laughs> Oh my God, it's been a minute since I played this. $103,000. You see why she's a millionaire now? At $7.6 million now? Now I'm curious as to what the extra cash from the corner will be. We can gossip a little bit between business. Let it all out. Deandra actually enjoyed hearing Lillian vent all her frustrations just now. Could it be that Deandra likes complaints? Probably, knowing her. 24,297 simoleons. Good God. Now we can invite Kyoko to come over, which might be a little tricky because they're enemies and she's bald. Why is she bald? Kyoko! Kyoko, you're here. <laughs> you're bald. What happened? Where's your hair? 
I didn't do that to her. Okay. Oh, we have to also send Summer on another mission. Hold up. Let's see. Get an update on trashing. Oh, I didn't even know what that was either. Let's do that. What's the update? Oh, another 5,000 simoleons. We smashed that place up good and emptied the cash register. Here's your cut, boss. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I will take my cash. We're at 7.7 7. 7 million now. Oh, my God goodness i need to implement this mod into one of my other series alexia not so very because this money don't play honey okay missions oh what send to collect debt send to push amphetamine send to travel <laughs> trash rival gang owned venue we already own all the corners <laughs> and collect extra from the corner let's collect extra from the corner because we had a hundred and three thousand simoleons are you kidding me why is she walking like that why do they all have dumb walk styles okay deandra just sent summer to do that so let's see what kyoko what we sent her to do a long long time ago get cut from drug pushing okay and then i sent her to do something else get loot from robbery Frank event why are you yelling at your boss? We got 20,000 simoleons, but why are you yelling at your boss? What, what, do you think, who do you think you are? That's right. That's right, D. Put her in her place. Oh, they're arguing. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Okay. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. She's bald. She's bald and she's torturing people who have hair. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. You know what? I'm going to deal with you. I'm going I'm to deal with you. But first, where's my other money? I pressed that interaction and nothing came up. And I just want to know, did she fuck something up? Damn. She's saying she ain't got no family? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> now she's criticizing that she's single and alone. Now she's <laughs> criticizing she don't get any woohoo. That's right. That's right. Oh no, not her bringing up the infidelity in her relationship. Oh no, it's getting ugly. You know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking you need to remember who the fuck you are and who the fuck Deandra is. Get her out. Get her out. <laughs> yes, Summer, come in and you watch this. You remember, you look for yourself. What happens if you talk so smart to Deandra, okay? You are not going to bed, girl. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Get your ass back down here. You are going back out on another mission because for some reason, that second interaction I did did not work and I ain't get no money. And for talking smart to D, what's something that'll probably get her hurt? You can get, you can go beat up some rival gang members. That's right, sitch. Go ahead, limp out. <laughs> Okay, back to business. The next associate we're gonna call is gonna be Elsa Felix. Convinced to come over. Elsa's here, this is Elsa Felix. Her makeup, ooh, girl, your makeup looking a little rough. <laughs> I did not give you that makeup, I know damn well. Anyway, let's see what I had her do. And like Kyoko, um, Deandra and Elsa actually do get along kind of, so let's good i guess we had her do three different missions oh we got money we got money let's get the loot from the jewelry heist sewell sewell where's my money run me that check oh <gasps> no she messed up the cop showed up and chased me down four blocks i barely got out of there i'm sorry boss oh no oh no deandra is not happy elsa how could you mess up that bad well girl you know what that means. <laughs> yup. Teach her a lesson. Teach her a lesson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The gang member has proven to be a splendid addition to the gang and is due for promotion. No, she's not. She lost the loot. What? Okay, we still have get the loot from the robbery and get loot from the stick up. So I guess we can just see if she didn't fuck those up as well. $8,300, she's still mad at her for messing up. And then get the loot from the stick up. 11,000 simoleons, okay. This is looking a lot better. And we'll go send her on a robbery mission. For now, for now, I think we <laughs> got plenty of money. Um, so maybe, is there, what, sh what should we do? What is Deandra feeling like in the mood for doing? She has to pee, which is one thing. Chat with Odessa from being friends. Be mean to Nancy Landgrab. I, we can do that. We can certainly do that. Bake something from being family oriented and discuss fears after fulfilling wants. Summer's out here making all these drinks. So you know what? Let's just grab a drink. Deandra loves to drink. She's been drinking 
she she has a drinking problem vodka straight vodka like a champ she's just like me oh my god cheap but strong from vodka yeah the taste is not very good but quickly forget all the worries girl oh look how pretty the devos house looks in the sunset with the waves crashing against the shore and someone had to ruin it by calling her one of my favorite festivals is in town let's go down to the spice festival and see what they have to sample um no go get abducted by aliens it's time for me to spend time with my family oh and if you're enjoying this video so far maybe think about leaving a like comment and subscribe for me it really helps me out thank you so much so what is everybody up to monroe is sitting looking aimlessly at the wall okay regina is about to go get the mail oh she's in her <laughs> regina george outfit love that naomi is on the computer i guess she's doing homework yes like i said she still is a teenager she paid the who paid the bills? Okay, she's doing homework. Odessa is chilling on Summer's bed. Summer is still stressed from not playing video games. Aw, Kai is upset -y. Aw, anyways. And Isaac is outside just chilling. Let's have Deandra do something motherly. She is, you know, she is a psychopath. She is a serial killer, but she's not a monster, okay? <laughs> Anyways, she's not a she's not a monster per se. You know, she loves her family. Let's have her make a meal for her family. And it's funny because this kitchen is probably the least used room in this house. Oh, and also on this wall over here, you're probably like, why the f are there a thousand photos of this family sprawled around? Yeah, it's been like this for like two years. Um, these are very old photos I took of the DeVos family, like a really really long time ago you could tell it's a really long time ago because summer is a toddler here deandra and monroe are still covered in alpha cc and i no longer really use alpha cc regina is still a child and odessa is a toddler so yeah these were there's some um um how do i put this how do i say this deandra's knockers are in that uh that photo down there don't ask. Anyways, these photos are very old, right? When I probably around the time I created them, when I first created them, their life was going by very fast. Like they had like all their kids within a matter of like three months, probably. So I, cause I was playing them nonstop. So these photos are all from around 2021, about August, September, August to December of 2021. So they're about three years old almost, which is so crazy to me. This was Deandra pregnant with, I think I want to say Odessa, so cute. And then this is proof that that hair glitch of mine that happens in the not so berry and the legacy has been around since the dawn of time because Regina has red hair, red hair in this photo when she has black hair, naturally. This was before I knew what pose packs were <laughs> and I would just have them posing with their just holding the toddler. Aw, Dee and her baby daddy, the Grim Reaper. But yeah, these images are very old, but very cute. Especially, oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one is so adorable. Odessa looks so much like Grim in this photo. Back to cooking. Back to being a good mother to our children. Let's make a creamy crab bisque. A party size, in fact. While Deandra does that, Regina, how are you doing? You're looking as beautiful as ever. Actually, fun fact about Regina here, she is actually a witch. She's not a spellcaster, but a witch from the Fairies vs. Witches mod. Maybe as her mom cooks, we can have her do some magic research or something. Maybe read the guide to witch craft so she can learn some new spells hey i heard you became best friends with lillian vaughn she's so cool honey they've been best friends they've actually been inside each anyways that was her thinking about it go ahead girl show off them cooking skills somebody is calling odessa raul chopra to go and build a bonfire at the beach tonight you want in okay oh girl gonna sneak out oh 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 odessa has accepted the invite but now needs to find the way there she can ask for permission or try to leave and hope no one catches her deandre and monroe are chill parents they are very chill parents they're very lax they're gonna say yes guaranteed okay let's go ask let's go ask daddy i mean your your daddy. 
Kind of. Monroe over here is looking as wickedable as ever. Ask for permission to date. She has a girlfriend, actually. I totally forgot about that. Ask for permission to go out with friends. Girl, why do you have garbage on your bed? What the? Regina's getting a call from Tracy Vaughn. A sports game is going on tonight. Let's go root for the home team. Why is everybody getting invited out to places? Regina has accepted the invite, but now needs to find a way there, okay? You can also ask for permission from your dad. Most likely, he's going to say yes to the both of you. I don't know why he wouldn't. Oh, there's there's a thousand pictures of her on the wall as well. Wow, I really, I really need to do things with these pictures. Aw, they're so cute. See, he said yes. You're allowed to go out with your friends, so go out with your friends. Of course you can go have fun and be safe. Aw, look at that. Huh, it even seems like Monroe is rooting for the bear. I think he's telling her not to get high. That's good parenting, right? All right, have fun. Have fun with your friends. I guess family dinner is fucking canceled. Were you drinking again? Okay, maybe we'll just have a romantic dinner instead. <laughs> just with just Monroe. Um, okay. Okay, let's have Regina go ask her dad. Summer is really stressed out, so let's just have the poor kid go play some video games. The thing is, where's his computer? He had a computer in there and now it's gone. You got games on your phone? I went to bed at some point, which is great because I don't want to deal with him. Isaac is up here by himself and he's tired. Oh, you poor baby. Anyways, that's so, so sad. Go to sleep. Let's have a romantic dinner with our boo thing. But I think Deandra has to get a little spruced up first before that. So maybe let's have Deandra go over here into Regina's bathroom. And let's go ahead and change our outfit. New family dynamic difficult. What happened? Did you say no to Regina going out? Monroe. Some Sims just can't seem to get along with each new conversation and interaction having the potential to turn unpleasant. It certainly looks that way between Monroe and Regina. What? No, no, no. Uh-uh, absolutely not. No, we're not doing that. No! Okay, so I had to film something in this save file, so now it is the next day. <laughs> Technically, in this save file, it was Friday when we started. Now it's Saturday at 9 p.m., but we're still gonna continue on with our plans of Deandra cooking a nice meal for her and Monroe. The kids are back, but you know what? F*** them kids. They wanted to leave when I wanted to make a nice meal and be motherly for once. No, they can starve at this point. Nutrient dent, something that Deandra and Monroe would both love. They do have an expensive taste, so I was thinking something like steak. I was thinking Wagyu, but that's, this is fine. We have steak. How would Deandra and Monroe like their steak is the question. I think that Deandra would be more of a medium rare person, but I think Monroe would be more of a medium person. So I'm going to torture Monroe a bit and I'm going to make him medium rare. And also I noticed something. Deandra is a... Uh, she's on a little something and I didn't give her that. So I want to know where the hell... You got that from? Oh my God, she's beating the f out of that meat. Look at her beating that meat. That is not the only meat she'll be beating tonight. I can tell you that. Wicked Whims is back, baby. It's been updated and oh, you know, they're gonna take full advantage of it. That's how they got all these kids. Now the counter is dirty, girl. Look what happens when you beat your meat. Oh my God, that's so high quality. I've never <laughs> made a steak before in this game, I don't think, not with custom content food. There's like rosemary and thyme or whatever the hell you season a steak with on the pan as well. Oh, look at her being motherly for once. Okay, it's done. Wow. Wow. Wait, who, who made this? This is gorgeous. I mean, that salad could use some work, D. Could, it it could have been a little better, but the steak looks phenomenal. Let's put that in the fridge and then let's also have her make some drinks. Deandra is definitely a hard alcohol kind of girl. So I was thinking maybe Jack Daniels. That is like her go-to whiskey. What do you mean you don't like mixology? You're you're literally an alcoholic. It's not official. It's not official. It's not in her traits panel, but we all know it. Okay, so we have that for her. And then for Monroe, I think we're gonna have her make him a martini with an olive. I feel like that's something he would like. So there are their drinks, a martini with an olive and a <laughs> cup of Jack Daniels. I like how the Jack Daniels took longer to make than the martini. <laughs> They're gonna go outside and have their dinner. It's already 11 o'clock at night. And we have to make Dee look good for her man. So let's go back over to Regina's bathroom and let's have her freshen herself up a bit. Oh my goodness, why is she walking like that? Is it because of the oregano? <laughs> okay, mother of the year, am I right, Regina? She means well, she takes care of her kids. It's all good. Go ahead and make herself look all nice for her man. And she's gonna go ahead and do some um some landscaping <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta look good everywhere. And she already changed her outfit. Oh, what's going on back there? Oh, look at her. She looks so pretty. He's up here chilling with Odessa. He looks great. Let's go ahead and go up to him. I don't know what special kiss is. I don't know if that's from a mod or if that's from Lovestruck. So I guess she's gonna go find out. Girl, you better get that posture right. You can't be going up to your man like that. Aww. Ah, my favorites. <laughs> I am 100% real when I say this. If I was given the choice to keep all of my Sims, including the legacy not to bury a model sim to sin, and get rid of Deandra and Monroe, or keep Deandra and Monroe and get rid of all my other Sims, I'd pick Deandra and Monroe in a heartbeat. That's how much they mean to me. I love them so much. Okay, Monroe, this outfit is cute. It's fine, but I want you to get into something a little fancier because look at your girl. I know I have something in here for him that's kind of fancy. This doesn't necessarily match, but he looks so good on it. I mean, <laughs> Look at how that shirt is this fit. <laughs> Oh my god. God, I'm thirsty for the both of them. My bisexualness, it's at war when I see the two of them. Aww. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! Dude, Odessa's right there! Odessa is right. Ode okay, I gotta turn the camera now. Y'all, Odessa's right there. Like, calm down. You haven't got even <laughs> you haven't gotten to dinner yet. What are y'all doing? Oh, you're just cuddling. Okay, right next to the trash, y'all. <laughs> All right, enough with y'all being flirtatious. Let's go downstairs and let's have y'all eat your dinner, even though it's literally one in the morning. I take my time. I swear, I take so long <laughs> when I play this game because I get distracted. Mother of God, look how much stuff is in their refrigerator. Deandra was my original garden outdoorsy hoe. It wasn't Autumn, it was Deandra. I always made her garden. I thought gardening in this game was so fun and then i kind of got bored of it and i stopped okay we have the steak da, 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 da. we have this let's hope that they just sit down and don't stand up and they eat with each other deandra's feeling no not right now you are you guys are technically going on a date so oh how cute girl please you know you love to drink okay just just shut up and drink the drink look at them sipping y'all are just gonna drink oh my god you are both alcoholics do you see how fast she's sucking that down she's almost done with it you haven't even grabbed your serving of the steak yet and she's done with it already good god okay well he loved his drink so i was right he is a martini man Ooh, now they flirt in over dinner let's put them in the mood okay okay <laughs> just enjoying the meal i see okay oh he has the charisma skill girl we know we know what he'd be saying and doing to get you into that bed and speaking of that bed dinner is done it is 2 30 in the morning y'all are both flirty as hell let's get the show over with let's let's end our day <laughs> the DeVos family in DeVos family fashion. Mm-hmm. You know she's gonna say yes. Oh my God, he's drunk after that one drink? Well, he is feeling lovable. Girl, you just sitting here? She's like, what are they going to do? <laughs> you know what they're gonna go do. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I had a lot of fun revisiting my favorite and one of my first Sims 4 families for the first time in a very long time. It was chaotic. It was funny. It was steamy. And I am really excited to continue playing them again. And yes, I will be making more videos about them for you guys because I know you guys love this family just as much as I do, especially if you're an OG of mine. And playing them today really brought back a lot of memories for me when I first started playing the Sims and really getting into it. And I would love to continue making more memories with you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and share, and subscribe if you did. Let me know if you missed the DeVos family and who your favorite member is, and what chaos you would like to see go down with this family. This episode was a tiny bit chaotic, but it could have been a lot more chaotic in my mind. This family has a lot of potential when it comes to chaos, and this video was just the tip of the iceberg. All right, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.